Hello to everybody who watches this. Um, my name is Zakia Cooper, and I am a 23-year-old Christian conservative from Chicago. This is going to be my walk away story because um, I was 100% Democrat. I was on the Democratic plantation, and I was happy with that. So let me go ahead and tell y'all this story because it's a little crazy. <laughs> so in 2021, I uh, moved into my first apartment. And the apartment that I chose to move into was, it was like a dorm style room where you would share a bathroom with a roommate of the same gender. That's what my lease said, and I was okay with that because I really wanted to move out. And so I move out, and I don't have a roommate initially, right? So I'm living there by myself for one full year, and I'm, I'm happy with that. A year passes, and I slowly notice that the bathroom that I had to myself is showing signs of being used by a man because I'm seeing that the toilet seat is up. And so I'm like, okay, I, I didn't know I had a roommate, but I just assumed that I had a roommate that was a girl because that's what they told me. I had a female roommate and she had a boy or something over there who was using the bathroom. So I'm like, whatever. He's dirty because he's not flushing the toilet and he's leaving the seat up all the time, but whatever. This is what happens when you move in a conjoined situation. So I was, I was satisfied, I guess. But I slowly realized that it was a man in my room, y'all. A man. A trans woman. And I realized it's because I see the person. I see this man that they moved in my room. I came out one day and I happened to see him. We came out at the same time. And I'm like, that's a man. It was a man. It was a man. They moved a man in my room. And so I stopped paying rent in that building because I'm like, what the? how are y'all going to move a man in my room? And y'all told me in my lease that I would have a same-sex roommate. I stopped paying the rent, and eventually the um, housing manager or whatever reaches out to me, and she's like, I'm telling her my situation. She's like, oh, well, we can't discriminate. That's why we weren't allowed to discriminate against him. He identifies as a woman, so we had to give him a female roommate. Yeah. The craziest thing I ever heard in my life. I'll never forget that day. Because I was like, what the heck is going on in this country? Like, I knew that there were trans people running around. I knew that, that was a thing, but I never really actually paid attention to the to the impact of that until it directly affected me, which is how most things work. So upon coming to that realization, I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What laws? Why can't we discriminate against? Why is there a man in my room? Because we can't discriminate. But what about me? I'm a woman. I'm 21 years old. I was 21 at the time. And y'all moving this man in my room? What if he raped me? What if something happens to me? Nobody would care. So after this experience, I became extremely interested in these so-called uh, discrimination laws or whatever this person was speaking on. And I done fell down the, the, the conservative rabbit hole from that point forward. I, I found myself watching Matt Walsh, who's of the Daily Wire, and he has a documentary called What is a Woman? And it's basically about my situation where trans men are erasing women. And after watching that film, I realized that I was supporting literally satanic stuff. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought I was being PC, right? No, no, no. I was supporting Satan. And I'm a Christian. I, I was raised a Christian. So I'm like, this ain't right. This is not, this is not aligning with my Christian values. Wait a minute. We're, we're calling men women. It's not lying. God, God, God doesn't make mistakes. So why am I calling you a she and you're a man? That's a lie. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, I'm transphobic now. Oh, I'm homophobic now. That's fine. Because I'm not lying. Because y'all said so. That's insane. So, that was just the tip of the iceberg, y'all. Because after discovering this stuff about the LGBT, I, I went on to find out that I was also indoctrinated by feminism. I, I, was, I was racist. I'm black, as y'all can see, right? So, it's not okay for blacks to be Republicans, let alone wearing a MAGA hat in public. Come on now. Me and my husband get clowned for this. He's not here, but me and him have the same values. We actually ended up, I'm 23 years old. Y'all thought I was going to, I would, I did not think I'd be married at the age of 23, but I am. Because me and my husband's values align so much. I'm like, what? why are we not married? Why are we not married? Why are we cohabitating like this? And we're, we're Christians. We're not supposed to be doing that. Let's get married. And we get it. We went downtown and got married. Like, and no, I'm not too young to be married. People, oh, you're young. No, I'm not. I wasn't too young to be having sex with him. Not married. So I'm not too young to be married to him. What are you talking about? It's insanity, y'all. I, I, I was, I, I 
was racist, y'all. I was content with being racist because when I was in high school, my, my liberal high school I went to, they taught me that black people couldn't be racist. We could only be prejudiced, which is some BS. So I was okay with being racist towards other people because they told me that I wasn't being racist. That's insane. That's an insane lie. Y'all have been censored so much. When I came out as a Republican publicly on my platform, because I did, I do, um, I'm an influencer on both TikTok and Instagram. I also have a YouTube page. And my initial, the initial purpose of my platform was to uplift people with natural hair. Because as y'all can see, this is my real hair. These are locks. And, you know, in, in my community, most women don't like their natural hair. So that's something I've always noticed. And so that's what my platform was initially focused on, you know, engaging with people, telling them that their hair is beautiful. God didn't make a mistake with your hair. You were born with natural kinky hair. You need to learn to love it. Don't don't give your baby a perm. That's insane. That's so they. And I slowly realized that there are deeper issues in our community. Yes, the hair is also an issue, and I'm always going to talk about it, but what? Black people are racist. And I realized this because this is how I made my um, social transition, right? Because I was like a conservative to myself. Only me and my husband were talking about it. We didn't have any MAGA hats or anything, but we were definitely conservative based. So I, I posted a video on my TikTok a couple of, at the beginning of the summer. And it was about, because there's a whole conflict in the black community, if you're not aware, where it's considered cultural appropriation for a non-black person to wear like box braids or dread locks like mine or basically any other black hairstyle if a white person wears it then they're gonna get bullied and attacked and so i think that's very wrong that's very racist and so i spoke out against it publicly i'm like you know y'all are racist y'all are telling a white girl she's not allowed to wear braids because she's white that's that's racist you're telling her she can't do it because of her race y'all i was cyber bully for this I had so many people calling me so many slurs. You call me Uncle Ruckies. I've been called Clarence Thomas's daughter, Candace Owens Jr., Coon, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Y'all know the slurs. So that's when I realized I was right. I'm on the right side of history because I'm like, y'all are cuckoo. Absolutely cuckoo, racist, and I'm not for it. I don't support that. So I'm extremely happy that I escaped the Democratic plantation the socialist, communist, democratic plantation that I was trapped on because when I started voting at the age of 18, I asked my parents what to vote for. They told me Democrat, and so I voted Democrat because they told me to. Little did I know, I was literally voting for communism. <laughs> so, yes, guys, I'm so blessed that at the age of 23, I come to this conclusion that I'm not out here supporting demonic things like the LGBT and abortion. I'm no longer a feminist. I respect my husband. I submit to him. And I'm content with that place. I cannot wait for us to be fruitful and multiply because that's my purpose on this earth. And I'm so happy that I found this platform because I'm eating all y'all stories up. So, yes. Thank you guys so much.